Greetings, it is I, Eamon. Welcome to I Wanna Hack, weekly discussions of coding and spreadsheets. Uh, this week we are coding. Uh, we're gonna be doing some background work here. See this background on the ARC website? I'm gonna pull up the inspection tools. And we're gonna see over here how they've got this granular look going on. They're using a background image, this noise PNG image. I'm gonna show you how to do that, and I'm also gonna show you another way to do this by creating an SVG element straight in our code. So first thing we'll do is grab this noise PNG file. I'm just gonna right click that and open in a new tab. And I've already downloaded this. You can just save images. I'm gonna use the exact image that, uh, that they're using for a project. Then I've got VS Code over here, and I've just got a boilerplate project pulled up this, with some pre-filled information. Um, we've got a body with three sections. So I've got a section for the way they're doing it, a section with an SVG image that's very much the same as how they're doing it in the example. And then I've got a real cool section here where we can put the SVG inline in our CSS. So we don't need a separate file or anything. So we'll walk through all three of these ways and uh, we'll start with the PNG. Now, as you see here, I've got an assets folder and inside there I've got that PNG that we, uh, that we looked up from the website. So that's already downloaded into our project. I've got some basic CSS that we'll style from here, a couple resets on it to start, and let's go ahead and pull up side by side here the live server so we can see what we're doing. I love on Windows, you can hit the Windows key and the arrow button and put stuff uh, side by side real easily and then resize them, they stick together. I, I love this. Okay, anyway, side note, sidebar. Back to the code, let's open up our CSS. And in the first section, let's do a couple things. Actually, let's, let's do a container first. So on both of these, you'll see I've got containers and then I've got three different noise one, noise two, noise three. So for a container, let's just set this up. I think we're gonna do margin zero auto to put stuff in the middle, uh, display flex. And what else do we have? Oh, we're gonna do width 100%. Then we're gonna do minimum height just so we can have some more space to see this in our example. Then we're gonna justify content center and align item center. And we should have, boom, all this lined up. And actually, since we've got three, let's do 33 view height so we can see them all on the same screen. Okay, the first example, we're gonna be using this noise class, the first one. Uh, remember, that's this first section right here. And in here, let's just, Let's put a background color. We'll use the background and uh, I don't know, let's just put pink. All right, so we got that background color just like they did and just like they did, I mean, this is very basic stuff for their example. We're using the URL for background image and we've got that file here in assets. Why does it not pull up assets when I click enter there? I don't know. Ah, usually you can just hit enter. There we go. No, why is it not working? That's irritating. All right, so none of that worked. I look like I don't know how to type, but if we type it in, we've got noise PNG, and you can see over here, boom. I zoom in and you can see that even better. We've got that grainy background, um, which is, I mean, I think it looks awesome. It's much more interesting just by adding that than the solid color out of the gate. Let's make this a little darker and you can even see, ooh, that's cool. Oh, and tell you one more thing we're gonna do, just because, let's change the color here to like 333, okay, and then boom. All right, that's that for noise one. Now, for noise two, uh, we're gonna start out doing the same thing with our background color. So let's do like a uh, light cyan. All right, so we've got that. It's a little too green for me. I'm gonna add some gray to it, there we go. And this time, we're going to use an SVG, all right? What are SVGs? Well, they're scalable graphic, uh, scalable vector graphics. Uh, there's a link, all, there's a link for all this stuff in the description below, but there's a link specifically for this part, Grainy Gradients Playground, where it will create for us exactly the SVG that we're looking for. 
This is using a filter called FE Turbulence. Um, the only thing under filter or under FE Turbulence that we have to have for this to work is the base frequency. You can read more about all this stuff in the MDN documentation. I know very little. I just know that the basics here make it look really cool. And for what we're doing, this is, this is all we need. So out of the box here, I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to change one thing, but I'll show you when we get back in the code. Um, you can change the size down here. You can change the base frequency. In fact, that's what I'm going to change. So let me just go ahead and change that to like four uh, right now. Uh, and then we can copy this code. And I'm going to bring that SVG over here. And in my project in assets, I want to create a new file. So I'm going to say noise.svg. And I mean, these are just, it's just code. It's a scalable gra uh, vector graphic that you can code. You can do all sorts of stuff with SVGs. They're super cool. You can even animate them inside of here, which is pretty excellent. You can also, uh, side note, let me just show you at the bottom here. You can throw one straight into the HTML. So HTML will interpret this and display it right there at the bottom. I don't want that. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna go back in here, save my SVG file. Um, it's not going to be exactly the same as their PNG that we downloaded because it's a, it's a different graphic. Uh, as you saw back here, there were uh, tons of different variables we can make it look uh, in different ways. Um, it's also using, let me go ahead and show you this. See on this bottom example how there's, it's not just one color, it's a multitude of colors in there. So this turbulence creates, um, uh, it, it's not just a like a white or a black uh, dot in there. It's it's multiple colors and stuff. You can play with the desaturation, I believe, as well, but we're not getting into the details there for this example. Let's go ahead and go back into our CSS. And back here in Noise 2, we've got the background color, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Background image, URL, assets, and then we've got noise.svg. And let's see, oh, so that it was not saved into the assets folder. Now we've got it in the assets folder where it's supposed to be, and boom, we've got that, um, it's almost like sandpaper-like texture in that second section here, uh, which is really cool looking, I think. Okay, the third way to do this, you don't even have to have a separate file, which I, I kind of like that about this method. So in section three here, this bottom section, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go bada bing, noise three. And um, this time, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna, for some reason you have to do an RGBA value. So we're gonna do RGBA so we can give it some transparency. Um, let's just take that one we did before, 234, 234, and then we're gonna put 0.5 in there. Oh, it would help if I specified what this is. This is the background, okay? Um, so now I've got this same color, but I've got um, 0.5, and actually let's go 0.8 transparency, okay? Now we're gonna do another background image, but instead, Instead of an actual file that we're referencing, we need to reference the code itself. So I'm going to take this code that I got from the grainy uh, playground area here, and I'm going to plug it into this, and there's a link for this in the description below. This is a URL encoder for SVGs. So we throw it there, and right down here we've got ready for CSS data. How cool is that? And it actually, here I'll copy the whole thing. It's already got background image and everything set for me. So back here, I'll just delete that, overwrite it with that, and check that out. We've got the same effect. It's a little bit lighter because we have that transparency coming through. I'll show you that if we bump this up to one, for some reason, oh, it's working now. Okay, so you can do that. It doesn't have to be an RGBA. Boom. So now we've got the exact same noisy gradient there, 
but we're using all of the uh, SVG data. We're just throwing it in line in our CSS. How cool is that? I think it's real cool. Anyway, I hope you learned something useful here. Go use this, modify some of those settings. You can go over here on the SVG playground, uh, the grainy gradients playground, and they give you all this right here. You can create your own thing to copy and paste the SVG, a gradient and a filter. They're actually using the gradient so it goes from solid through that noise into a transparency uh, level. I like the solid color with uh, it bleeding through a little bit better, but that's just me. That's why we did it our way. Um, anyway, play around with that. Uh, check out the Epi Turbulence over on MDN. There's a bunch of different um, settings that you can change around and play with there. It's a lot of fun, and it beats the heck out of a solid background color. Hope you learned something new. Hey, uh, would you consider subscribing to my channel? Making more videos like this every week this year. Having a blast doing it. I appreciate your time and hope you have a great one. You're awesome. Bye.